you know, they seem like nice enough kids. If you're a high schooler with a job, though. It's not bad. You're 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 rolling in it. Yeah, relatively you're, speaking. You're either like a really responsible kid, or yeah. you know what's what's going to happen after after school's done. Yeah, I guess. I didn't say you, after you graduate. That's that's right. After this, <laughs> after it's after done. this time is over. <laughs> after, um, you want to get a head start on that. Now, uh, Tito, you didn't notice this while we were eating, but I made eye contact with Matthew. Matthew took a French fry out of his, out of his, out of his <laughs> mouth and threw it down into his little cardboard box. <laughs> was it too crispy? And then I wondered, I wonder what it was. Was it was it too crispy? Something like that. And I saw Matthew reach at least three fingers deep into his mouth and pull out a long hair. <laughs> and the thing is, it wasn't my hair for sure. No, it definitely wasn't to be, your hair. To be sure, because it was, it that was, was a baked lady's in. hair. It was <laughs> baked right into the French fry. Right into, because oh, I, nice. I couldn't get it out until I until I Chewed mashed it up with out my, of a, with out my of a fry. Yeah. Oh, they hated that job, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe she just hated a hairnet. That's okay. I, I I'm I'm okay with that. You don't want to wear a hairnet. I'm okay with getting hair in my feet. I'm, really, I'm fine with it. I don't like showering. <laughs> <laughs> We've all got our, our hang ups. You know, I'm not in it for the hair, but like you order pizza, sometimes you get a hair in it. That one's the the grossest because you pull that hair out and it makes See, this crater like a yeah a river. Oh, you're uh, right. You're right. In the cheese. Like a tremor. But I'm not I'm not going to return that pizza. It's a hair. It's a you know. It's not going to injure me. In any what way. Uh, what what level of food do you return with a hair in it? I think if there was a if I found a tuft of hair. No 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 no, no. one hair <laughs> one hair. If it's in like what w- at what point are you returning a meal for one hair? Are you ever doing it? Never. What if it is a glass of milk? I knew you were going to say milk for some reason, even before <laughs> you said glass. Uh, I didn't know I was going to say milk before I said glass, so that's impressive. No, I would just remove the, the hair. Really? Yeah. In a, in a liquid? Yeah. Soup, you get a hair, you're like, whatever. Yeah. It's just, it's always a hair. If it's one hair, it's one hair no matter what. Angela got a worm in her pancake once, like a, like some sort of critter. Like it was like a little worm, you know, it's like curled into itself, like a maggot. Not nah, maybe. I don't know. I don't remember. How super little clearly. of a worm? It was like it was turned into its. It was coiled into it's itself. Okay, it was maybe worm. maybe the size of a dime. So not really? huge, but it was. And, and we were with Alex, perfectly coiled friend of the show, yeah. Alex Alexander Roxanne Laurent. And he shamed Angela into eating it anyways, just eating around the dead bug. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, he's, I can get behind He's that. very persuasive. He is very persuasive. He's very persuasive. But also, I can, I can imagine, oh, you're going to return the whole pancake for this little... Just don't eat that. <laughs> just <laughs> don't, don't eat that part. In there. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah. You, there may be more. You don't yeah, know. But now, was it, was it a worm? Or the way you're, you're describing this spiraling creature makes me think of like a... Um, there are little worms. These little, these little like uh, shelled creatures from the prehistoric times. <laughs> <laughs> it was from the. How old was this pancake? Uh, it was from the Holocene era. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It may have been a. <laughs> I don't know. It may have been it was like a ten minutes old. Oh yeah, maybe one of those little like cement uh, Oh, no. like a little a little beetle. One yeah, of these little, little cement little beetles bugs that roll. Up. Yeah, it's yeah, the cement. Exactly, bugs. it's when you lift a, like a, a a stone or a block and you kind of see it like little crocsily. Little crookseelies that roll up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little, little, little. yeah, yeah. No, it's not exactly a beetle. Anyways, the Whatever. point is, it was worse a than a hair. It was a crookseely. But she ate around it because, because Alex is so persuasive. We're also afraid of not being cool in Alex's eyes. <laughs> because believe me, his tolerance is like, you can just, you're not cool anymore. And it's, it it's, it sucks, man. Not feeling cool in his eyes. Well, see, so it's you just suck it up and you eat the up. pancake. It's hard to keep up. Alex is also like a chameleon of cool. You never know what flavor of cool he'll be next. One week he's James Dean, the next week he's like a fashion pants hip hop -hop superstar. Yeah, David Bowie sneakers. Yeah, yeah. David Bowie. David Bowie. Like uh, (laughs) now he's now he's he's getting into like this sort of like Nirvana back hair greaser mode. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You bought a Nirvana shirt. It's so cool. Yeah, (laughs) it's really cool. It's got like a like a pink. It's so cool, man. Man, he looks so cool. (laughs) And when we were in Sejap, he one time he told me. I was like gonna run for the metro. He's like, I don't run for the metro ever, and I thought that was the coolest thing. <laughs> the metro so will run I, for me. I told that to some girl. I was like, I don't run for the metro ever, 
and it lasted like two or three weeks, and I was like, ah, shit, I gotta run to the metro. <laughs> so <laughs> hold on, hold on, okay, metro. okay, okay. So you're telling this girl that you thought it was so cool, you're gonna do it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna run for the metro. Something like and that. And then after two, three weeks, you're like, I'm I running. gotta run for the metro. So are are you doing it alone or in her presence? Not running for the metro. Running for the metro. At <laughs> this point, I'm doing it. I don't remember who I was around. I don't even remember who the girl was. But I was like, I don't run for the. Me- I thought it was a cool thing to say. But did you, so? So you said within two three weeks you started running for the yeah. metro again. So it wasn't. It was something you were going to try and start doing. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like a lie. Like, I, no, it wasn't to, a lie. Okay, it was okay. like an affirmation. Like yeah. I just wanted there to be a witness. <laughs> like that's that's the that's who I am now. <laughs> And because I want to be like, I don't want to, I want to be cool in Alex's eyes. And I told him about that like a year ago. <laughs> By the way, we were in Seychelles for like 10, 11 years yeah, ago. Exactly, I told him exactly. about that a year ago. And he was like, I don't remember that. It's so stupid. I always run for the Metro. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I wish I had like footage of him running for the Metro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so stupid. No, no. Uh, uh, go ahead, Matthew. Oh, I, I, I was just bracing myself in case I thought of something to say. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> now, uh, uh, I find Matthew and I have been talking about this a lot lately, or maybe recently. I don't know. Um, I want to see what you remember of this. Uh, the three of us and someone else went in high school uh, on a debating tournament, a debate tournament, a debate competition. Um, a debate meet. What do you remember of this debate meet? <laughs> I think it was a disaster. I don't think we did very well at all. It was like the warm up to a serious debate meet. Okay. Were you and I on the same team? You and I were on one team. Matthew was on the other team. We didn't compete against each other. We competed against other schools. Yeah. And I remember that um, it just didn't go well. I felt like it went all right, and uh, you I and I were like, we were we finding were, our we rhythm would, still. We would find, yeah, we were finding our rhythm, and we would write notes to each other to help each other. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Out in the debate. And I, every now and again, I'd, you know, you'd be sit, make a good point and like, I'd write a little note on a paper to be like, oh, and use this argument. And you would do the same thing for me. I felt like quickly your notes became a lot more helpful than my notes, which were insults <laughs> to the other team <laughs> that I wanted you to read. It's and like, hey, googly eye. <laughs> it's yeah. like the, the Donald Trump school of debating. <laughs> You're weak. <laughs> well, see, now they were... <laughs> well, I'm going to put you in jail. <laughs> they were <laughs> done this. They were not so much uh, twenty years ago. Your husband, <laughs> sorry, they were not. So, <laughs> they were not so much uh, insults for you to read out loud to them right then. They were really for me to make you laugh <laughs> while you were in the middle of debating and see if you could stay on point. I think you probably messed with me a little bit. <laughs> I think there were a couple times where you like you'd stop and like chuck a little bit, look look at me like, why are you why are you ruining why this? Were we for even us? in the debate team? <laughs> No Did idea. someone just convince us, like... Yes, our English teacher. Yeah, Was- yeah. Miss Wasserman, who, like, in, like, in retrospect, was a really good teacher, really believed in us. Yeah, I guess uh, so. I guess so. I mean, she didn't in no way prepare us for college. No, that's correct. Because we <laughs> she just loved us for who we were, but she believed in us, and that was something. Yeah. And so, I don't know, was it that we thought if you're in the debate team, you can get into a better college? or Because we're all going I, to the same stage you know, anyway. Yeah, uh, you know, I basically think all it was was that our English teacher pressured us into it. Yeah. Plain and simple. I think that's we just it. Didn't, I don't think there were like any... We wore any, our father's suits. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there were any <laughs> upsides to it. No, I mean, I'm sure I had a like a, a suit from probably my confirmation or something like that. And the, still then fit. there was the second debate meet where yeah. Miss Wasserman drove in her Corolla. Her that's beat, the one I'm thinking her of. Her beat to shit Corolla. Where we took like a 20... And now Matthew minute. and the other student are not even in this anymore because they've just they just were so bad. Well, hold, no. <laughs> hold on now. I, I'm, I'm jumping you got, in. I'm sorry, but you got like the C team. I, I, I'm jumping in here because I need to set the record straight. I have yeah. two points I want to say. First all of all, right. Sebastian, you writing notes to make Tito laugh seems like a really good move because that must have psyched out the other team, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Like, they're nervous about this. They're treating this. And, and Tito is making his argument every now and then looking at a note and chuckling, <laughs> laughing to himself. We're going to kill like, these guys. <laughs> I like I like how we were probably messing with their mind doubly because they're like, well, they're not good at debating, but they're laughing it up, so maybe they know something we don't know. Yeah, it's like they're <laughs> really not bad at this debating stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a big joke? Yeah. Now, to sorry. us, it was. Yeah. <laughs> now, I I need to let you you both know. I don't know if you remember this. I was not on the debating team. 
I was the photographer oh, for the yeah. yearbook. And I went to the debate <laughs> meet to take photos of you. And you got and, you and got one person in. didn't show up. And Miss Wasserman spoke to me out in the hallway uh-huh. saying, we are going to be disqualified if you do not step up and debate like you have never debated before. Matthew, you have the gift of gab. You have what it takes. Complete gonna... bullshit. And I was like, I'm, I'm arguing with her at the moment. It's like, I this never was, speak. This I was don't. quiet Matthew. Yeah, this yeah. was like quiet I, high school know, Matthew. I was probably just like, yeah, okay, maybe. maybe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and, uh, so See, she... this, is, this, is, this is not the sign of like a great English teacher who believed in us all. This is a manipulative <laughs> is true. Uh, English teacher who for some reason in the school board needs to work her way up. And she worked her way up into the <laughs> school did, board yeah. by showing her face at these debate meets. Something's up here, man. Something's up. I, you know, I, I don't were have... just pawns in her game. Exactly. I don't have Climbing a the school board ladder. Uh, so I finally do this debate for you guys. Yeah. Uh, which I'm terrible at. The very first question, uh, no, the very first debate topic, mm-hmm. uh, something to do with the uh, Kyoto Protocol. Yeah. And my first question to my teammate, once it was our like you know minute or whatever to, to discuss. figure it out, it's like, okay, first thing, what is DPI? <laughs> you know, the, the Kyoto Protocol, and that 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 sets up the next three four debates that we had that day. There was something about Harry Potter and owls. I had never seen Harry Potter. Uh, and it had nothing to do with Harry Potter either. It was just a uh, I feel like they were using an analogy yeah. in the explanation. I, it's I, called squirreling. Is it? I think so. What is oh. what is squirreling? Where you just kind of like you use something and you wow. come up with a topic based on they want you to like oh, okay, connect okay. the dots. It's just the okay. Harry so, Potter. Owls. Owls lay eggs. Eggs are good for breakfast. Therefore, be it resolved, <laughs> I want some scrambled eggs. <laughs> what um, are you gonna do about it? Be it resolved. I I didn't know that there was gonna be more than one debate. Yeah. So after I finished that first one, oh, I was God, very relieved. We did it. This is like, okay, now there's three more left. I was so angry. That was the probably one of the worst days of my entire life. Mortified, so, so embarrassed. I, I'm very glad that you do remember it differently, <laughs> and as the as how I let you all down. <laughs> In my mind, it was like he'd been. He'd well, been, no, I just figured getting, he, you, was, he was supposed to be prepared. He yeah, was supposed I just, to be I just remembered months. it as like you were you were thrown onto the C team as a replacement. Yeah. I hadn't thought of it, but that's much. true. That's true. You were the photographer who got thrown. I tend to the gloss over. Replacement. I tend to, in my memory, just gloss over my embarrassing failures. <laughs> my, my memories are just the highlight reels of the good things I've done. <laughs> Angela is my girlfriend. There you go. That's one. That's, and then that's two. A good one. Graduated Sejap. Yeah. yeah. Three. <laughs> it's it's still is come. gainfully employed. <laughs> that's that's a good one. Chris, you would have. Uh, I just want to let you know. Uh, I think I may have told you this once, but you would have won so many more high school awards uh, if it weren't for me. <laughs> now, not really high school awards, yearbook polls. Matthew, did really. you did you fudge the numbers on the yearbook polls? Is this is this new <laughs> finally coming out? Time. <laughs> the thing is, is I didn't know you that well uh, in the tenth grade. Yeah, um, I knew somebody was named Tito, and I knew somebody was named Chris Curtis. <laughs> so when all the votes, you never came connected in, the dots. No, when someone, I used to get that. When all the votes came Oh, you're in. Tito. Exactly. <laughs> I, you know, I made separate piles. There were piles for Chris Curtis. There were piles for Tito. Uh, both of you had a lot of numbers. Always tied for second place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you never made. But uh, had I known, uh, you you would have dominated well, that. I really wanted section. to win best hair. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need, uh, we need a do-over. Just, <laughs> we'll release yeah. the true yearbook. We'll 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 find all the the living uh, graduates from our grade. Contact Jesus, them all. that's dark. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't been fifty years. <laughs> well, not everyone has made it. Um, um, we'll we'll send out uh, questions <laughs> of who they think now uh, is the most stylish or whatever they had. Um, he really wore the shit out of that Fubu shirt. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I do recall though, Tito. You and I were voted most likely to host a morning radio talk show. I feel like that we made it. I feel like that we're we finally we we're finally doing it. We're finally doing it. <laughs> that dead air really sells it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I was oh, just man. I was thinking about the last <clears throat> thirteen years of my life. <laughs> just kind of oh, shaking man. my head. Yeah. Why? Going like, ah, oh, no radio career. Oh, and we're just doing this in my spare room. This is not the same. <laughs> 
<laughs> with towels see. to block the sound. <laughs> um, just one last high school memory. I feel like it, it is the last high school memory that I feel like I mentioned to you was uh, uh, our prom, uh, our, our after grad uh, party. 